Which candidate will fight for fairness? And this is an urgent need. We need to grow the economy and we need to make it fairer. The tide is not rising fast enough and it is certainly not lifting all boats. Since the crash, too many of the gains have gone to the top 1%. The rules and incentives in our system reward corporations for putting short-term stock prices above long-term investments in their workers, equipment, and research. While corporate profits are at near record highs, paychecks for most people have barely budged. Incomes aren't growing fast enough to keep up with the costs of living like prescription drugs and childcare. I believe that every employee from the CEO suite to the factory floor contributes to a business's success. So everybody should share in the rewards, especially those putting in long hours for little pay. So I'm proposing a new tax credit to encourage more companies to share profits with workers. And more broadly, we will fight for a more progressive, more patriotic tax code that puts American jobs first. Right now, when a corporation outsources jobs and production, it can write off the costs. We must stop that, and we must make them pay back any tax breaks they ever receive from any level of government in our country. And for those that move their headquarters overseas to avoid paying their fair share of taxes, they're going to have to pay a new exit tax. So if they want to go, they're going to have to pay to go. And Wall Street corporations and the super rich should finally pay their fair share of taxes. That's why I support the so-called Buffett rule, because multimillionaires should not be able to pay a lower tax rate than their secretaries. We should also add a new tax on multimillionaires, crack down on tax gaming by corporations, and close the carried interest loophole, something I've advocated for years. Now, compare what Trump says. Now, there is a myth out there that he will stick it to the rich and powerful because somehow he's really on the side of the little guy. Don't believe it. Not when he pledges to rip up basic rules that hold corporations accountable. When he wants to scrap regulations that stop polluters from poisoning the air our children breathe and the water we drink. Let insurance companies write their own rules again. Trump would roll back the tough rules that we have imposed on the financial industry. I'll do the opposite. I think we should strengthen those rules so Wall Street can never wreck Main Street again. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.